Hello literature students. This is the last video of the session and I'm happy to say it and I'm sure you're happy to hear it. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the final exam which is opening very shortly. In fact it might have already opened. So you'll want to make sure you read all the instructions, all the descriptions. Uh, I even give examples of kind of answers I'm and the extent and thoroughness I want in those answers. And um, just make sure you pace yourself carefully. I did put the most time-consuming questions at the beginning. So now, that doesn't mean you have to do them at the beginning, but I wanted to make sure they don't sneak up on you. And those time-consuming ones are in what, ones in which you are given a passage and you have to explain the passage, explain the significance of the passage. And certainly try to think back on the discussions that we had about these these different passages or different stories and poems that they're included in and also um, make sure that you uh, use whatever you take from videos and also your just your own ideas and readings. Um, don't use any outside sources of course. Alright so uh, that's the the final exam. It closes at 2 so figure 1230 tomorrow is the, the start the sort of last start time because it is an hour and 30 minute or so test. Okay, and um, one last thing I want to mention is the, the portfolio. I know it seems like an afterthought, and I do, did kind of treat it that way because I didn't want it to complicate anything else you're doing. I'm making it very simple for you. So you're going to be using iWebfolio, and um, I'll have directions on how to use iWebfolio in, course, in the course docs section. Uh, you use iWebfolio to upload your um, multi-stage poetry project and your number seven journal entry. The number seven required journal entry is the one about where you relate a real world experience to the writing of the analysis of, of analyzing literature and just try to make connections between those seemingly very different things but oftentimes you'll notice that they do have things in common. Um, so yeah just uh, see the directions in the course doc section if you haven't sorry in the journal entry section um, if you haven't um, done that one yet, but make sure you you do that and also the other journal entries because I have noticed there are some missing ones out there. All right, so um, yeah, and I'll send a Blackboard announcement basically with a lot of the same information in case I talk too fast or I was too you know too dazzled by the end of the session to make um, to be very articulate. So so take care. Good luck on that final exam and. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye-bye.